So then how do I go back in? And I think there was one person besides you and me <clears throat> that had signed up. How do I go back to that person and then make sure that Sure. she's... So you can do that in, in one, you can do that in a couple of different ways. So we're going to, oops, we're going to save that. So first and foremost, because no one has gone through this series, because they already have the wellness opt-in tag, that will put them through. It'll automatically throw them in. Okay, gotcha. As soon Okay. as it's published. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then it'll put them through. Um, the other thing is that you can manually add people in in two different ways. So you can go to a, a contact record. So, um, so on the contact side, over on the left-hand side, there is tags. And we're going to kill that. Um, tags and automation. Okay. So with these tags... you can add the wellness opt-in because for some reason it's not on here. So you can add the wellness opt-in tag right here. And then because that tag is added, it will throw them into that automation for you. Okay. The other thing you can do is there's this automation button here. It's going to, you can see the ones that have added. Now we can add this one. You're just going to click the add button and you can search for the name of your automation. So we have the document delivery. It has to be published in order to be added to it. So we don't have it at, Right. um, published Yeah. at the moment, but you can do the same thing. So it could be the biohack document delivery. Then because you don't have any time frame on this, you could basically, you need to give it a name. I don't, I think you can just add, um, or you can um, just say now, and then hit the um, the button and, and have it go. So you can literally add someone to the flow in that way. Okay. 